welcome back everyone to part two of my devlog on how I created the audio assets, implemented them through WISE, and fully integrated them into the Unity project for our game, Live, Die, Repair. I hope you enjoyed the last video where I talked about creating all the assets in Reaper. And now I'm going to show you how you can utilize a really cool tool in Reaper to group together all your assets and get them built into WISE in the hierarchies that you need very, very easily. We're going to use two plugins for Reaper that are paid. They're provided by a company called LKC and they are absolutely fantastic. One of them is called the Render Blocks where we are able to take layers of sounds and auto-define their name um, based on rules, based on our tracks and our regions. And then we're going to use something called Grim Sync, which will import all of those rendered blocks into WISE in the exact area that they need to be in. So we're going to see how that looks utilizing both the music and sound effects as our examples. So we're going to start with the sound effects because that's a bit easier to uh, to walk through. So we are going to take a look at just our sound effects for the project. So in here we can look at how our hierarchy is set up. We have an SFX folder and then I have it broken down into UI. So I have a button hover and a button click. So if we look at just this section here, we have the name as SFX UI button hover, because that is the name of our hierarchy that we have right now. We have SFX UI button hover, and then our next item down is button click. Now this one is utilizing three different layers of sounds, and they are all gonna be grouped together into this one render block. The way that we can set that up is uh, we would highlight all the items that we want to have in our render block and at literally the, the click of a button, I have just a keyboard shortcut for this. If I hit that, what it does is it groups them all together. I can select just the render block itself, groups all items, and it gives them the name based on our naming convention. In this case, it's just the, the folders, so SFX UI button click in this scenario. Within the naming conventions of the folders, I have this little square bracket A, square bracket A, that's called um, an actor mixer in WISE. So that's the container for a sound effect that you can use. Um, and so what we can do with Grim Sync is we can click on our render block that we want to create, click on our refresh button so that we can see the asset list that we're gonna create. And so we see we have actor mixer hierarchy, the SFX UI, SFX UI button click. Again, this is all being automated just based on the, the settings that we have configured and our naming hierarchy. And what I can also do is click on this button here, and that's gonna also generate an event for us. And it's gonna create our event to play the button click. If this were an event that I need to be able to stop as well, like if it's a longer sound effect um, that needs to stop at a certain point, I can simply click on this button and it will create the event to stop that sound effect. So I can do this for really all of my sound effects and even the music as well. I can use these render blocks to group them all together. And then all I have to do is click on this Grim Sync button that will render out these blocks into a single file based on our naming convention and then synchronize it to an open wise project. So I have wise open in this window here and I've already created all of the items uh, as needed but what you'll see is because these ones are white that means they've already been converted and processed so I know that they have been taken care of but if I collapse all of these and I look for my sound effects UI keep an eye on these two items here. Currently they are white because again they have been fully processed. But if I go back into Reaper and I click the Grim Sync button, it's going to take care of all those processes automatically. Like, like my hands are up. I wasn't doing anything there. If we go back into Wise, we can see that button click is now blue because that's a newly generated file. It's actually, it overwrote the old one, which I don't care about. I'm just going to undo all these changes. But you can see how easy it is just to create that from Reaper. I don't have to do the import. I have to create all these items. It's taking care of that for me. Um, I will do a, a deeper dive into Grim Sync at some point because I really, really like this integration between Reaper and Wise. I think that if you use 
um, Wise as part of your audio implementation and you use Reaper as your DAW, like there is no reason you should not get this Grim Sync plugin. I'm not affiliated with LKC at all. They didn't ask me to say this. I, I'm, a, I'm a huge believer in this program, in this plugin, and how well it works. I use it. I've used it in this project. I'm using it in another project um, to do sound effects and music. And it's just, it's incredible how much time it saves. So I can do that for all of my items here. And again, based on the naming conventions, it's gonna automatically organize all of these items for me into the uh, into the wise project so we can see that all of these actor mixers here were created even in the events section we're going to have the events created for us automatically uh, these ones you may have to re reorganize and color code within wise but that's a minor thing that's totally fine and then from here in wise we are able to create all of our states and, and rules for how these are going to interact with the Unity project. So right now, I just wanted to run through the creation of all the audio assets in WISE. Um, and again, we even have, as part of our music, those different stingers that we looked at in the last video where the, the melody is playing um, at random over top the ambient track. So let's hear what the level music sounds like just on its own. So this is just that ambient layer. There's nothing extra happening right now and nothing extra will happen until Unity tells Wise to play one of these events. So I have the monster stinger in that randomized container so we could just play this one. I could click it once to simulate triggering the monster stinger when we see the monster through the flashlight. So that would get triggered by Unity. It would tell Wise to play that stinger, or at least play the container, and it would randomize which one it selects. But I also have it set up so that Unity can select at random one of the player stingers. So if we were, we could control that ourselves by playing stinger three. And as you heard, it landed right on the beat as well. Let's pick a different one. It lands right on the beat. The reason it lands on the beat is because in our stingers section, we can define play at. So play at next beat, next beat, next beat. And the monster stingers plays immediately. We don't want to actually delay that one. We don't want to delay when the audio plays because the player should hear it instantly when they see the monster. So, but I just wanted to show you a quick peek under the hood for how the WISE project got set up so easily through Reaper because all of these are categorized where they need to be based on Grim Sync. But I also wanted to show you a bit more about how I have it set up in WISE and we can do some trials. We can do some tests to hear exactly how the audio is going to work based on these triggers that I can control manually in WISE, but eventually have Unity control the different events and when each item is going to get triggered. So things like the sound effects, they are all, they all have their own events. So we can play any of these events individually and simulate that call being sent from Unity. So let's listen to the air leak as an example. And because this is looped, it'll keep playing until the player fixes the leak, in which case we play the stop. And actually the best way to test out these sounds is through a soundcaster in WISE. And to do that, we can go to views, soundcaster, and you can create a ton of different boards if you want to test out different areas. But right now I have some music ones set up, but let's say I want to test out triggering, playing the air leak and stopping the air leak. So if I play that, it's going to play continuously, continuously until the air leak is fixed, in which case we will trigger the stop event. And then it fades out. Um, similarly, we can trigger things such as the player fixing the leak. And so we hear that play. So we can simulate all the stuff in WISE just to make sure the sounds are working the way we want them to and they sound good. And then we will look into the Unity project next and see how all the code is set up to trigger each of these events. So I hope this was interesting for you. Um, I didn't want to spend too much time going into the, 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 the nitty gritty details of this, but if this is interesting to you, please let me know. 
leave a like, subscribe, comment what your favorite part was. What what else would you like to learn more about in WISE? I know there's a ton of fantastic resources out there already. You can do the WISE certification courses for free, but I definitely want to share with you some of my processes. So if you want to see more about this project or um, any other projects that I'm working on right now, I'm not under NDA or anything, but if you're interested in this, let me know. I'd be happy to show more of the WISE integration with Unity, with Reaper and WISE, and um, I'd, be, I'd be happy to show more about that. So please let me know, leave a like, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.